Hello, good day. Welcome back to Coding with Vero. And today we're going to fetch the list of items from our packet based server and display it on our web page. Currently, and we've done it so long that you probably forgot that the list of items you're seeing is actually static. Like if we add something new to our packet based list um, collection, it will not show up on our page. So let's do that in this video. So let's try to go to our item list page. And you can see that oh, we actually can't go because we've signed out. So we need to sign in. So recall that oh, even in develop mode, if we, in the edit mode, even if we're signed out, we can't actually go to these um, protected pages. So now we can go to our item list page and here's a list of our items. And to see it though, it's actually a static list. We can select the items table um, that's displaying our data. And here we can see the table data is just a JSON value that we've used. So to jog your memory, if we go back to the episode two code, we'll see that oh, um, looking at our HTTP client code here, we'll see that oh, we played around with how to fetch this data from pocket base. And so we wrote a number of get um, requests, which you know we tested out to get the exact shape of JSON that we want, which is we ignore created field and updated fields and so on. And that's what we copied and use here. And in order to display the images, we had the image line sort of massage using the specific um, record ID to fetch the image and take the first one for the list of images. So what we're gonna do now is create a RESTful endpoint because now we know how to do that. Uh, we create RESTful endpoints to do post to login. So we should be able to do one for a get. This is pretty easy. So if we type this correctly, and so I made a mistake here. So basically um, I spelled collections wrong. So um, let's fix that. And with this corrected, now if I click run, you can see I get the same data that um, we got in our VS um, or Chrome or editor. So now let's rename this to a more sensible name, call it get items. And now we're gonna try and use this from the UI. So I'm gonna delete everything that we have here. And as you can see, it should give, show me my get item um, API call and then data. Now, if you look at the data's return, it tells you something about it's loaded and the response and all this other sort of stuff. But then there's a data field of there and that data field contains the data we want, including, um, for example, the items. And so we can then navigate down to items. Remember what was returned as number of records, pages, all this other sort of stuff. We don't care about that. We just care about the items. So if we select items, but now you can see our columns have like all these fields we don't want. And remember, we can hide them by just checking this like um, little I, turn off the I basically to say hide these fields. But there is one way we can do this, but we've already looked at a query that just returns the data that we want. Remember, if we return into the client fields that we don't use or values, we're actually you know, doing more work on the server to retrieve that stuff for the first place, in the first place, and then also simply send it back to the client. So let's just filter that. Now, before we do though, let's fix our price. Our price there have zero decimal places and we want two. So we can go on the configuration for prices and change that. And so now let's go fix our query properly. And to do this, we can go back and look at our file here. And we see that when we wanted to um, filter out the fields, we wanted to return the fields we wanted, we put a query parameter, which is after the question mark, that says fields, and we give the list of fields we wanted. And then we add a second query parameter called expand and says that to expand on the labels field. And so let's just go edit our query here. We could do the same thing. We can go to parameter, and here we have key one and key two, but you can add more keys, of course. So for key one, we'll call this fields, and then the values will be all the fields that we want returned, which we can see from our, um, you know, our VS Code from our editor. Once we have that now, the second query parameter is the one called expand with the value labels. And so we put that in. And if we examine the URL that's being constructed at the top, it looks exactly 
like the one that we have in our VS Code editor. So we are satisfied that this looks good. So we can click run again. And sure enough, if we scroll down and look at it, we can see that it doesn't have any unnecessary values that we're not going to use. So this save bandwidth for the client. And so now when we go back here, we can see it. So we have this expand field. So this expand field is actually our label. So let's rename that labels. And we, if we wanted to, we could write like a JavaScript function, which returns a comma separated list of the labels instead of the way it is right now. So let's write that function. Here's our JavaScript function and we'll call this function from our UI and then we have it. Let's check that when we add a new item that it shows up on our, our updated page. And since this is the item is the best ever, it really should be as ever, it should have every label. So let's do that. And that's it. Um, pretty easy how we were able to pull live data from the backend and display it. That's it for this video. I want to keep it nice and short. Um, I hope you enjoyed, you learned something. Please thumbs up the video, comment, let me know if you like this material, if it worked for you, if it didn't work, just, just engage, let me know. The interaction is good for the YouTube algorithm to bring more users to the channel. I really like to see the channel grow. Um, if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for your patience and for returning. If you're new to the channel and you watch the end of the video, please consider subscribing. Click the notification bell so you can see when I post new videos. Um, until the next video, take care, stay safe. Bye.